By the end of this video, you will learn about coupling and its types, cohesion and its types. You will know the difference between coupling and cohesion. Also, what is the ideal combination of these two which we should consider practicing? Coupling and cohesion are two important concepts in the object-oriented design, and hence we will briefly discuss it here. Before jumping into the topic, let's first know what are models. Models are independent units that can be used to construct a more complex structure. In the process of dividing a software system into multiple independent models, where each model works independently, known as modularization. Now head on to the coupling. Coupling is the measure of the degree of interdependence between the models. In other words, it is the degree to which one class knows about another class. If the information is only exposed through interfaces like data hiding, then it is called loosely coupled. If the information is more like accessing data members directly, then it is called tightly coupled. Tight coupling can make other classes not working properly after the change. We should try to make our code as loosely coupled as possible. A good software will have low coupling. I am mentioning five types of coupling here, which are data coupling, control coupling, external coupling, common coupling, content coupling. If these types of data are shared with modals, then they will be called by their respective names by adding coupling after that. This is the arrangement of coupling types from worst coupling to best coupling, where worst coupling is content coupling and best coupling is data coupling. Moving on to the cohesion. Cohesion is the degree to which all elements directed towards performing a single task, which are contained in the component, basically, the term cohesion is used to indicate the degree to which a class has a single and well-focused purpose. The more focused a class is, the higher its cohesiveness, which is a good thing. The key benefit of high cohesion is that such classes are typically much easier to maintain than the classes with low cohesion. Another benefit of high cohesion is that classes with a well-focused purpose tend to be more reusable than other classes. Here are types of cohesion, functional cohesion, sequential cohesion, communicational cohesion, procedural cohesion, temporal cohesion, logical cohesion, coincidental cohesion. These are the ways where a one model can use the functions of other. They will be named accordingly, with cohesion included at last. This is the arrangement of cohesion types, from low cohesion to high cohesion where low cohesion is coincidental cohesion and high cohesion is function cohesion. Now we will see the difference between coupling and cohesion side by side. Coupling is the concept of intermodal. Cohesion is the concept of intramodal. Coupling represents the relationships between models. Cohesion represents the relationship within model. Increasing in coupling is avoided for software. Increasing in cohesion is good for software. Coupling represents the independence among models. Cohesion represents the functional strength of models. Loosely coupling gives the best software, whereas highly cohesive gives the best software. In coupling, models are connected to the other models. In cohesion, model focuses on the single thing. In summary, loose coupling and high cohesion are desirable, whereas tight coupling and less cohesion can lead you to problems in the long run. I hope now you are clear with coupling and cohesion concepts. In the next video, we will learn about unified approach and use case-driven process. If you find this video helpful, then like this video and subscribe for more informational video.